हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इन बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल दैट इज हाउ अ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग एज अ टेक्निक इज यूटिलाइज फॉर द बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल मेथड्स देन डेफिनेशन सो बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल इज अ नॉन केमिकल मेथड दैट इज इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर केमिकल्स और यूटिलाइज केमिकल्स टू मैनेज प्लांट पैथोजेंस दैट इज पैथोजेंस आर द एजेंट्स दैट कोजेज द डिजीज इन प्लांट्स लाइक फंजाई बैक्टीरिया एंड निमेटोड्स बाय बेनिफिशियल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट इज फंजाई ईस्ट और बैक्टीरिया सो बेसिकली दीज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर यूटिलाइज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द डिजीजेज दैट आर कोल्ड बाय द कोज्ड बाय द प्लांट पैथोजेंस सो दिस इज द बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल मैथड दैन इंट्रोडक्शन सो the risk associated with the chemical residues on the leaves and the fruits have highlighted the need for more useful and safer alternative control treatments that's basically in the case of chemicals what we can say is they are applied externally and they leave uh, we can say side effects on another organisms when they basically in case of plants when they eat the fruits uh, and also the leaves that they feed upon so that this will result in toxic effects in another organisms also so there is a need for the biological control methods so the virulence of the pathogens probably changes if a genetic mutation occur in the genes that is how and we can change the virulence of a pathogen so uh, it can be changed by the change in the gene related to the pathogenicity microorganisms upon the mutagenic treatment that is what is a mutagen or we can say mutation so mutation is basically a change in the dna sequence it is very useful as in case of the bio control methods so basically here what we can do in this method is we have to uh, irradiate that particular plant pathogen with uh, uv radiations or the gamma radiations or the ionizing radiations and then there will be a change in the sequence of their dna and their mutagenicity or we can say the ability to cold cause the disease is decrease as per the treatment by the uv rays or the gamma rays now the genetic improvement of microorganisms so naturally microorganisms possess the ability uh, to we can say act as a biocontrol agents but they are also modified by the process of genetic improvement or the mechanism of genetic improvement that is genetic engineering is utilized for the better enhancement of the microorganism so that they can act as a uh, better biocontrol agents as in case of plants so the biological and the molecular characterizations of the biocontrol agents are very important for the modern agriculture since environmental conditions are subject to change that is due to climate change they are subject to change so the biocontrol agent requires genetic improvement for effective performance that is they should act according to the envir changing environmental conditions and work efficiently so to improve the efficiency and the productivity of biological systems or the biocontrol agents genetic engineering has a main role in increasing the antifungal and antibacterial metabolites that is uh, whenever we can say if a fungal disease happen in case of a plant so by the process of genetic engineering antifungal properties are more uh, likely to be increased by that method host colonial colonization ability that is there are better chances of the making of the colony in that particular host that is the plant by the biocontrol agent and host here represents actually the pathogen that causes a particular disease in the plant and the endurance in the micro ecosystem that is how well they are adapted to their ecosystem okay so there are various methods for in or we can say in the genetic engineering uh, approach or the technique first is the use of protoplast fusion that is how we can enhance the ability of the uh, microorganisms or the biocontrol agents so it is an important technique of the gene manipulation here gene is manipulated that is by this interspecific or even intergeneric hybrids can be produced 
इंटर स्पेसिफिक मीन्स दैट इज टू डिफरेंट स्पीसीज कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ हाइब्रिड एंड इट इज ईजी टू ट्रांसफर द यूजफुल जीन्स फॉर द फीचर्स लाइक सपोज टू स्पीसीज आर देयर एंड इफ दे आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ हाइब्रिड टेन मोस्ट ऑफ देयर यूजफुल कैरेक्टर्स कैन बी ट्रांसफर्ड इन द हाइब्रिड लाइक द डिजीज रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज दे आर एबल टू टोलरेट अ पर्टिकुलर डिजीज एंजाइम एंड द फाइट्रोटॉक्सिन प्रोडक्शन दैट इज प्रोड्यूस बाई अ पर्टिकुलर प्लांट और द पैथोजन देन द रेपिड ग्रोथ रेट बेटर ग्रोथ इज देयर दैन द बेटर चांसेज ऑफ द बायो कंट्रोल एक्टिविटी इज देयर नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन प्रोटीन क्वालिटी एंड द ड्रोट रजिस्टेंस आल्सो सो दीज आर द प्रॉपर्टीज दैट अ हाइब्रिड शुड प्रोजेस दैट इज क्रिएटेड बाय द प्रोटोप्लास्ट फ्यूजन सो दिस इज अ डायग्राम हेयर टू डिफरेंट स्पीसीज आर यूज दैन प्लाज्मोलाइसिस दैट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेल वॉल इज रिमूव दैट इज प्लाज्मा इज लाइज और वी कैन से ब्रोकन डाउन दैन दे आर सेपरेटेड दैट इज विदाउट सेल वॉल एंड then they are fused that is cultured under a condition that is uh, polyethylene glycol is you applied here high calcium ions are used then by the action of these cell fusion occurs that is both cell got converted into a heterocaryon okay then culture medium again they are grown in culture medium and two separate uh, hybrids are produced so illustration of haploid cell construction by the protoplast fusion so haploid cells are formed at last then genetic transformation is another method uh, so nowadays some wild type fungal and bacterial species are used as a bio control agents but there are limitations that restrict their efficacy that basically they possess some limitations that they are not able to act uh, accordingly to the bio control agents that are genetically engineered so poor survival of the inoculant in the particular soil that is though they are not able to grow in a particular soil and low production of the required metabolites are the most important limitations that these wild fungal and bacterial species possess so the technology of genetic modification has the capacity to create new strains in which these problems are solved and hence in this way genetic engineering approach is utilized in case of the biocontrol agents so this is a diagram representing plasmid mediated transformation system that is here plasmid act as a vector so this is a beneficial gene which is present in any unrelated organism then these are the uh, these are the unwanted genes so transfer into plasmid in acrobacterium then genes required for the transfer are taken here and this is the current organism which do not possess that property for example uh, resistant from any disease etc then they are crossed with each other and at last a new organism is formed possessing the gene that is required or we can say the beneficial gene then the third method is the improvement of bio agents via mutagenesis that is how uh, the change in the dna sequence will lead to the improvement of the bio agents so uv light ionizing radiations and the chemicals as the genotoxic agents can randomly induce the modification in the organism's genome that is they will modify the genome or certain abilities of that particular bio agent uh, gamma rays are we can say more effective as compared to uv and x rays this has been proved via experimental studies now the basic steps that are utilized by the bio control agent that is in the genetic engineering method that is how it is uh, we can say produced uh, as in case of bacteria is an example here so first step is isolating a gene to be inserted as we have earlier seen in a diagram that is the beneficial gene inserting the gene in a vector and now what is a vector here it is an agent to carry the foreign gene in earlier case we have seen that plasmid is used as a vector then inserting the vector into the host host is basically the agent where it uh, it multiplies there and multiplication of the host cells by cloning so now what is cloning cloning is basically an approach that is used by the scientists through which they make exact copies or exact genetic copies of the living beings example genes cells tissues and even whole animals can be cloned by 
cloning method then at last extraction of the desired product so these are the basic steps now vectors so they generally include baculoviruses which are arthropod specific viruses that is they basically act on the we can say arthropods and that infect species so two genera of uh, baculoviruses are there that are used as vectors first is nucleopolyhedrovirus and second is granulovirus so now genetic engineering strategies in case of bacteria that is how they are enhanced uh, to we can say use as a biocontrol agent so first step is genetic engineering to optimize the speed of kill that is how faster it can kill the plant pathogen and the second is genetic engineering for increased virulence and modify the host range that is it will act on wide host is hosts not only a specific one so first is to optimize the speed of kill that is how to increase the uh, kill speed first step is gene deletion that is egt gene is uh, utilized here so EGT refers to ichdiosteride UDP glucosyl transferase. It renders the ichdiosteroids inactive that it, it will not lead to the secretion of ichdiosteride hormone that is present in insects. It blocks the molting of the host insect that is uh, we can say insect pupa will convert into larva that that phase is known as molding so this egt gene will inhibit that thereby prolonging the actively feeding larval stage basically this larval stage is the main cause of a particular disease in a particular plant so this will be inhibited by the gene deletion step so this is a diagram representing the viral AGT gene. It facilitates tree top disease in S. exigua, okay, Livia, by extending the time to the dead. That is here, infection by that insect is done on a particular plant. Then hours after infection, when AGT gene is inserted, okay, so it will cause tree top disease and the pre-death climbing took place that is natural death occurs hours later but before that uh, death will cause by that particular gene so that at elevated position then the second method is gene insertion so insertion of a gene encoding a toxin hormone or enzyme into the baculovirus genome so these are added to enhance the speed of the kill several recombinant baculoviruses have been constructed for over expression of the host insect own hormones or enzymes such as diuretic or ichdiacin hormone or the prothoracic trochotropic and the juveline esterase that are present in the uh, insects so that it will inhibit that a wide range of genes encoding insect specific toxins isolated from various venomous creatures okay such as scorpions, spiders and sea anemones have been inserted into the baculovirus genomes to enhance the speed of the kill in the plant pathogens. Then targeting the basement membrane that is expression of cathepsin L protease. It is an enzyme from the flesh flies resulted in decrease in the survival time in the larvae of Autographa californica infected with ACMNPV. That is an enzyme. So this will lead to a decrease in their life cycle and this is also a basically a step in the uh, gene uh, in genetic engineering for the enhancing the speed of kill. Now, the genetic engineering for increased the virulence, that is how virulence activity is increased by genetic engineering method. So, there are several examples of baculoviruses that have been genetically engineered to reduce the amount of the virus that is required for a fitted infection of the targeted insect pattern. Basically, here the requirement or the amount of that particular virus is decreased by the genetic engineering method. So, enhancing is a metalloprotease enzyme commonly expressed by baculoviruses they secret that degrades that degrades the insect intestinal mucin in the peritrophic membrane that is secreted by the insects so insertion of enhancing gene derived from trichoplusia nigv enhance the acmnpv virulence by 2 to 14 fold in the various insect species. So basically these are the enzymes whenever they are inserted into a particular uh, insect species they will lead to 
increase in the virulence activity so conversely deletion of two enhancing genes from the lamentria dispar reduce the viral potency 12 fold compared to the wild type virus so challenges for genetic engineering of the bacteria basically use of bacteria increase the potency of the toxin as basically uh, so many toxins are secreted by bacteria so there is a challenge there then broaden the activity spectrum we have to broaden the activity spectrum as bacteria possess various properties so in conclusion what we can say is plant pathogens are worldwide problem so a variety of approaches may be applied to control the plant disease beyond suitable agronomic performances farmers rely on chemicals which have carcinogenic effects and causes environmental pollution so biological control could be the best alternative against the plant pathogens and development of mutant is an important technique in the strain improvement toward the plant pathogen suppression which yields reliable strains for the biocontrol so yeah this is all about genetic engineering in the biocontrol hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel